it going YouTube? This is Alex coming at you for TVAPE TV in the studio with a very special video for you today. Today we have the best desktop vaporizers of 2021. I'm super excited to get into this. We are just gonna skim the surface of all of these. I'll put links in the corner if you wanna learn any more information. We also have a new poster in the studio, you may have noticed. A little bit of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas meets Rick and Morty. If you wanna be entered to win this poster, drop a comment down, make sure you hit subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. We're gonna give it away in a couple videos. Let's get into it. Sitting in our number one spot this year is none other than the Volcano Hybrid. The Hybrid is just as simple and easy to use as the rest of the stores in Bickle line, and it comes with Bluetooth functionality a whip for when you don't wanna have a bag full of slap you upside the face vapor and touch screen controls. First, you're gonna to wanna to fill the chamber up, then twist it into place and then lock it onto the top of the device. Then attach your whip or bag and you, my friend, are good to go. Turn the unit on by pressing the heat button and it will automatically ramp up to your selected temperature. You can adjust those temperatures. God, this thing's huge. By hitting the plus or minus button here, and when you're using the whip attachment, you don't necessarily need to use the fan function, but you can if you just want to get blasted in the face with a bunch of vapor. Otherwise, I would just slowly inhale from the whip and it's as easy as that. When you're using the bag, make sure you hit the air button. It will fill up with vapor. And then, you know, up to you. Some people leave the chamber on the top. Some people take it off to make it even more conduction so it's not just sitting there heating up while you're not using it. The hybrid, as you can see there, reaches temperature in 20 to 40 seconds, which is much faster than its older brothers. It offers full temperature control between 40 and 230 degrees Celsius, or 104 to 446 degrees Fahrenheit. Just like the rest of the stores in Bickle line, the vapor quality on this guy is top notch, and it rips like people on electric scooters, which have come back into fashion for some reason that I don't understand and makes me really mad. The build quality is exactly what you'd expect from German engineering, and a company that has been in the game for over 20 years. It is simple to use, has some flexibility, will slap you upside the face, and is expensive as hell. But if you can get over the price tag, you will not have very many complaints at all. In our number two spot, the Volcano Classic is the tried, tested, and true older brother of the hybrid. The Classic has been around since 1999. Prince was still partying then. Maybe that's a dicey joke to make. I, it was more a joke about the song, but then it came out kind of rude. Sturdy, capable, and been around the block a couple times, the Classic has remained one of the best desktop vaporizers since its inception for a reason. Slightly less quality in the vapor department than the hybrid, only slightly, the Classic can still pump out a serious amount of potent vapor that is strong enough to knock your uncle who drinks rubbing alcohol for some reason on his ass. Fill the chamber, close it up, pop it on top, make sure the heat switch is on, it will start heating up. It usually takes a couple minutes to heat up, so I'd give it a decent amount of time before you stick your bag on and hit the air button. It's a loud noise, but it works. Then kill the air switch and haul on that bag like you are playing slap the bag. Was that just me? Nobody else was buying boxed wine and chugging it? That's probably good. For those of you who don't know what that is, I'm glad. Great build quality, easy to use, and less expensive than its younger brother, although still a couple of shekels, not gonna lie. The Classic is a solid purchase for anyone who wants a consistent face full of potent, powerful vapor. Coming in at number three, the Ariser Extreme Q is the budget-friendly alternative to Storrs and Bickle's products. It will always have a special place in my lungs because it was like the third vaporizer I ever bought. The first to implement the whip bag combo, the Extreme Q comes with both a whip and a bag. A riser is also known for its build quality. The only downside with the Extreme Q being that glass on glass connection, which honestly, I'm not 100% sure is a downside. Like it's gonna make your flavor more pure. However, this noise is terrible. And it doesn't have that same rotational capabilities as the Volcano Hybrid. Whereas the Hybrid can spin all the way around this also can, but it ugh, makes that noise that nobody likes. The vapor quality of the EQ is great as well. It is certainly capable of keeping you glued to the couch while you watch the same trailer for the same Netflix series, not realizing that it's not actually the Netflix series, it's the trailer for that series. 
Load the, what they call a cyclone bowl. I've been recommended to pack it at the most up to here. Stick it on top of the heater, connect your whip or your bag if you prefer. Then you can either turn it on manually or if you're fancy as hell, you could also use the remote. Full temperature control from 50 to 260 degrees Celsius is nice. However, I wouldn't go any higher than 220, 230 if you're feeling nasty. Again, I'm not telling you how to live your life. You do whatever you want. I'm just giving you benchmarks, suggestions, if you will. It's easy to use, easy to clean, gets the job done, can deliver some powerful, potent vapor, and it doesn't cost your life savings. Coming in at number four, the Plenty is the oft overlooked Storz and Bickle brother. Okay, fine. He looks a little weird and he has a trigger that sort of looks like a power tool. But the reason he's on this list is because of performance. First, flip the switch on the side to turn it on. Then set your temperature using this little slidey guy on the side. You'll notice there's some numbers there. I usually recommend anywhere really from four and seven. Six is probably my go-to temperature. Once you've set your temperature, remove the heating chamber, spin to release, and fill it up with ground dry herb. Then, just the same as the hybrid, spin it back on, attach it to the device, pull the trigger, wait a couple seconds, and then inhale. The long tube cools the vapor down really well before it reaches your lips, and it gives the exact same high quality vapor as the rest of the Storz and Mikkel line. It is built sturdily with a bunch of analog dials and switches, and by a bunch, I mean there's really only the one switch and then this dial here and I guess like an old school kind of temperature gauge. And this light, like the whole thing just kind of looks like a power tool. I get it, some people won't like it, but I would argue the tactile connoisseur would be into this. It's a little cumbersome, but performs really well. It goes up to 215 degrees Celsius, and it's great for a group session when we're allowed to do that again. Also, it's the cheapest of all the Storz and Bickle devices. In my opinion, it is overlooked and should be considered a little bit more than it is. Just saying. Sitting in our number five spot, the Ariser V Tower is the simpler, cheaper version of the Extreme Q. Yes, we really like Ariser and Storz and Bickle. What do you want me to say? It works exactly the same as the EQ. It just doesn't come with things like the remote control. And it also uses the Cyclone Bowl to achieve some serious vapor. The same high quality construction as the rest of the Ariser line. It provides that sweet, sweet vapor through that glass on glass connection and the long whip or the bag if you want it to be. It takes a bit longer to heat up. I'm talking four to seven minutes, which is a little bit dicey, but it's perfect to sit on your side table just to wait around for your next session. Usually I take this off, turn it on, let it heat up, and then drop this on when I'm ready to go. That way I can achieve that great convection vapor without leaving the bowl on here to warm up and cause a little bit of conduction. Like the EQ, cleaning is simple as well, and for a reasonable price, again, it just gets the job done. And that's it for this one, people. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new around here, hit subscribe. If you wanna win this poster, subscribe, comment, and give us a like. We will be giving it away in two videos. So not the next one, but the one after that. So hit us up. Guys, I'm excited to give this poster away. It's pretty awesome. We are going to get some new ones into the studio. If you think I missed anything, if you'd like to see a different vaporizer review, if you're like, dude, you always look so baked when you do the videos. I promise every time I do these, I'm 100% sober. I just wear contacts and they make me blink a lot. And I'm also just kind of a squinty guy. So if you have a problem with that, throw it down in the comments, cause I don't care. Until next time, my name is Alex for T-Vape TV. And for all you connoisseurs out there, keep vaping.